here's a warm up for today. Um, hopefully, this does jog your memory. I know it's been a long time. Um, but solve each inequality, then graph the solution. So, just like solving equations, we focus on the variable and we say what's bothering it, what's attached to it. This one is times four. So, four x. And it's times four, so we're going to divide by four over here and divide by four over here. And we get x is greater than three. And then we should remember these symbols greater than, less than are open dots. And then the uh, greater than, less than, or equal to are the closed dot. So here we go to anywhere, just put zero down and go one, two, three. And then we want an open dot at three and everything greater than three. So that's that one. Here you see a divide by four. So we're going to do the opposite. We're going to times by four over here, and we're going to times by four over here. This one is all about this process. If you're not doing these steps, you're not really doing what we're trying to do here. So this problem is going to turn into x is less than or equal to negative 12 times 4 is negative 48. We do not switch this sign because we're multiplying by 4. The rule is if we multiply by negative or divide by a negative, then we would switch the inequalities direction, but we're not. We're multiplying by four. So again, I just put something, I put zero somewhere, and then I could put negative 48 somewhere. This is a closed dot. So I put a dot at 48, I close it in, and I want numbers less than, so we go to the left, which is less. Here's where the rule's going to go in effect. We got negative 4x is greater than 12. We're going to divide by a negative 4 and divide by a negative 4. So that's going to switch my inequality. The x is going to stay where it is. The inequality is going to switch the other direction. And 12 divided by 4, positive divided by negative is a negative. So we go 0, 1, 2, negative 3. This is an open dot. And I want numbers less than negative 3. All right.